Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. It's Mr. McStash with my amazing bride. Mrs. McStash. Mrs. McStash on the back. So we ride along here in Hawaii still. I know it's not as lush and green as, as what you expect. But it brought a thought to my mind. That thought was, did you ever find something that just wasn't quite what you expected? Yeah, lots of things. Yeah? This, this isn't uh, quite the side of Hawaii you expected, is it, Mrs. McStash? No. It's not what you see on the movies and TV. Well, it's I, part of it. it. Yeah, that is true, but like I told you, you also don't see Walking Dead in Georgia. <laughs> well, I guess that depends on the day. You might see Walking well, Dead in Georgia. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Doyle's still down there. Anyhow... <laughs> So I thought I would bring you in here, folks, and have a little discussion of what you view as to what there is or what you expect as to what you get. Um, I know some of us who are not necessarily brand boys will buy stuff off of Amazon and it may come up a little bit short. It may not. Um, I have first a few things off of Amazon for my bike that I was pleasantly pleased with. That's the country club. Yeah. Uh, what else, sweetheart? Any, any, you bought that uh, heated jacket off of like a Facebook or Instagram type advertisement, right? Yeah. Yeah. And it is wonderful. Yeah? Yes. I love my heated jacket. Uh, it, it is. It's not bad by any means. Uh, I would have wanted something a little thicker myself. Uh, maybe with a little more heating panels than what it has. But because, and, and then again there, it's just for me looking at different styles of heating jackets and using mine which is powered by the bike on the bike well I have a liner that I use on the bike that has more heat oh yeah no I'm, I'm not talking about um, the coat that you like so well that is yeah. battery heated but it, for what I use it for it's awesome which is to take the kids to the, the grandbaby to the bus stop and that kind of thing. It's awesome. It serves an incredible purpose. And, and that's what I'm talking about. I was, when I looked at it, I thought you needed a more elevated product than what you got. was pretty sure you were going to be disappointed once you got it. And it turns out I was wrong. You you love it. It's yeah. incredible by your, by your use of it. Yeah. But... I think it's kind of that same way when you talk to somebody on the phone yeah. and then you meet them and they're not anything like what you thought they were going to look like or I saw that rum rum tours rum tours, rum tours. <laughs> anyhow <laughs> squirrel squirrel uh, yeah so what are some of the things um like, uh, I can't think of the name of them now, but a, I bought uh, a set of grips off of Amazon, motorcycle grips off of Amazon. They were the knockoff to the Karyakin, uh rubber and metal. I'll throw a picture of them up here, maybe. Um, and they were like 15 bucks versus the Karyakin. It's 100 a half or something like that and I had them on ultra classic and I ran them till they pulled apart which was a lot of miles yeah and I bought me another pair for 15 bucks and slapped them on right on top you know right in place of that pair and they've been going now for quite a while and I, I gotta say I love them they they aren't cheap they're well made. They, you know, fifteen bucks. I mean, go on. 
why didn't yeah. you replace them four times as opposed to one pair of karaokans, you know, I'd still be ahead. So, I don't know. That's, that's kind of my my thing. Of course, you know, if you follow the channel, I belong to the Black Label Bikers, which is all about builds on a budget, for lack of a better term. Or, uh, you know, we'd much rather spend $15 four times and, you know, do it a couple of times as opposed to spend 150 bucks one time. Yeah. You know, you still be ahead in the long run. And for those sports fans paying attention back home, I do believe that Wheeler Army Airfield. And I believe this up here is going to be Skolum Field Barracks. <laughs> I can tell by the tore up plan. Oh, that, that definitely looks like Wheeler Army Airfield. And that definitely looks like Skolum Field Barracks. Looky. Oh, look, yep, yep, looky there. We're going to run yellow light from Skolum Field Army Barracks. Yeah. Been 30 years. They didn't have no. Uh, they may not have had a Burger King when I. <laughs> Here, they definitely didn't have Firestone. I can say that for sure. In half a mile. Mercy. Foot Road, that's the gate we used to travel all the time. Foot Gate. So, yeah, a blast from the past, folks. 30 years ago, Mr. McStash spent a lot of time around this area here been where you spent a lot of time and where my dad spent a lot of time yeah, all in one day. Yeah. In 300 yards, turn sharp left onto the Kino Drive. Sharp left? That's what she said. Well, dad going to end. We're going to... I didn't think Just we were going to left. Over. And we're stuck in a red light... Triggers a red light challenge. Can you touch your index finger to your pinky? Can you make the two of them touch? Yes. Huh? Yes. Okay. Just one now. And you? Yeah. yeah. You're pushing it with your thumb. Oh. There you go. Uh huh. <laughs> See, now you know what you did. A goober. Retarded gang signs. <laughs> it's shaka reverse. We're gonna cut that out. What? We're gonna cut that portion out. Cut that out. Yeah. Hey, dude, cut that out. You mean the part where you call me a goober, right? No. Until next time, folks. Remember what Mr. McStash always says: love on your family. Check on a buddy. And when you get back out there, always keep it rubber side down. Until next time, we'll see you.